Yo! Oh, it's a little bit cold out there. Oh, hey, bro. Do you know what this trick is? Oh, Getting it worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, because it's a really cold day, the first battery, if, well, obviously you can't sit on all your batteries, but your first battery, you chuck it in between your crotch, and then when you drive there, it will warm up, hopefully. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up in your balls. <laughs> but once you get there, then your battery will be a little bit warmer than the outside temp. Um, so you'll have optimal flying. All right, so we've just completed the shots that we need for the client. We've had two drones up today, which is really good and handy because um, the client wanted videos and photos. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging when you've only got a few batteries to, to get all the shots that you need um, with video and then also go back and re redo those flight paths again for the photos that you need. So having two drones up helps. Plan, plan, plan. Make sure you get the shots that you want in your head first before you go out. You don't want to be mucking around getting to different points in the air um, and then you end up you know, just draining out your battery and your SD card and so on. These particular shots, the sunrise shots especially, you've only got a really small window of time. Plan the shots that you want. First you do your, your establishing shots, then you can start doing your orbits. Use the point of interest, um, intelligent flight mode feature thingy. The other shots I did, some bomb shots, so top-down shots, just to create a bit more excitement. Um, angle the camera straight down, and then do some lifts, do some twist lifts. <laughs> After you do the point of interest, get some pole shots, so come in a little bit lower. Um, some jib and crane shots, if you don't know what those are, I've got a video about cinematic shots. Check that out, I'll put it in the link below. After I complete the movement on video, so if I'm, let's say, tracking from one end to the next, during that sequence, try not to get distracted and to move the aircraft into a different position. Finish that sequence first. Once you stop recording, go back again and then redo that other idea that you had during mid-flight. Because the worst thing you can do is keep going with a beautiful movement or a beautiful sequence and then all of a sudden pan up or move your camera left or right and you've pretty much got unusable footage for that part. All right, so with this sunrise shot, one thing to keep in mind is you have to constantly change your camera settings. And as the sun rises, your exposure is gonna get brighter and brighter and brighter. Obviously, if you keep the same settings at 7.30 when the sun's up, it's not gonna be great at the end or at eight o'clock or nine o'clock because it's gonna be really, really bright. So keep that in mind, You're constantly changing the aperture and the shutter speed to to meter the light. So um, I'll give you a bit of a breakdown of the kind of shots that I will be conducting here. It's it's a little bit of a difficult property to shoot because there's nothing really sexy around it. It's just in the middle of flat land and there's, well, I mean, the property is quite nice. There's a pool and a beautiful playground at the back, but in terms of um, surrounding elements that you can use there's not really that much happening so if you can see I mean there's some trees just behind me here which you could use to kind of peer over kind of like a reveal shot so you start behind the trees um, and you slowly either lift up or to the right and as you're doing that you're revealing the property so it gives that element of surprise it makes the footage a little bit more interesting um, the other thing I noticed here is there's a really nice driveway leading up into the sales center with flags on either side so I use that as nice lines and also to fly through it and as I was flying through it it just adds a little bit more it changes up the footage a bit that's what you will need to work on most drone shots they're just all, they all kind of look the same orbits and your fly throughs and tilt up tilt down so you need to kind of create a little bit of excitement in these videos by getting a little bit closer 
um, or flying through things or flying out of things. Um, that kind of makes the view a little bit more engaged. There's one particular shot, I didn't actually plan this, but I saw it and I thought it would be an excellent idea. And that is to manually orbit around the playground. Now the playground at the back um, has this tall, um, I guess, little tower with a flag at the top. And what I did was I focused the flag in the middle of the frame and I began to manually orbit around the property, but uh, around the flag. But as I orbited, I was really, really low and directly in front of me there was a kind of like shrubs so hopefully that will look quite nice in the end that's it i think we've got all the things that we need for the moment what i will do is just burn the last battery um, and have a bit of fun flying around really um, but we've got all the shots that we need so yeah it. Uh, we're going back now to the office on a public holiday. That's the way it goes, eh? Um, to cut it up and get it to the client hopefully tomorrow. So if you like these videos, hit subscribe or click on some of the links below that will help support the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!